Hi everyone, this is Dave. Now, if you watched my video a few days ago, you'll know that I picked up a couple of the late 2016 MacBook Pros. These are the new Apple MacBook Pros with the touch bar across the top of the keyboard area. Now, I've got the 13 inch version. I've also got the 15 inch version here. And I wanted to bring you up to date with how I've been getting on with it. Some of the things I've found out that I like, a few that I don't like, and also update you with some of the peripherals and accessories that I've been testing as well. Let's switch perspectives and take a closer look. So before I show you some of the accessories and peripherals that I've got for the new 2016 MacBook Pro, I want to discuss some of the things I really like and some of the things I'm not too keen on. So first of all, let's just cover off one of the really cool things. Something very, very simple. When you wake up the laptop, instead of having to type in your password, you can use the Touch ID. Works very, very quickly, very responsive. And we're straight into a browser here. Now, normally to change tabs, I'd have to sort of navigate up with the trackpad and then click on the appropriate tab. But I can actually do this with the touch bar now. So if my hands are in this position on the keyboard, I can just tap on the various tabs in the touch bar and switch between them very quickly. Now, yes, admittedly, I could do that very easily with the trackpad. I do like the touch bar. It's going to take me a while before I use it to its full potential, but certainly I think it's a very good sort of addition to the MacBook Pro. Now, I also want to talk to you about performance. This thing is so, so fast. So I'm just going to get up a disk speed test and start this going. And the write and read speeds are off the chart. We let this run a few times, but you can see here, even on the first pass, we're getting 1230 megabytes per second on the right and 1200 on the read and then second time round just look at this performance 1937 megabytes per second on the right and then 2000 megabytes per second on the read speed that is absolutely phenomenal so really good performance now one of the things i don't like i did mention this during my unboxing a little bit of a better view for you here though is this large trackpad i love the fact that it's large don't get me wrong that is fantastic but what apple have done is they've just taken up all of the space that was previously there so this is no bigger than the previous one in fact it's a tiny bit smaller but they've taken up all of the space at the bottom all of the space at the top now that's fine for most people but sometimes when i'm typing my palm of my hand here actually touches the trackpad and i just think we need a little bit more room along this bottom edge just maybe an extra sort of five to 10 millimeters. So I think that's a little bit of a design flaw. Love the larger speakers. These also go right up to the edge here as well. But when you're charging the laptop, if you're using it and your hands do touch here, you do get some sort of uh, like a, a fizzing sensation as though there is some voltage coming through. Now it might just be static electricity, but it's not very pleasant. So I don't like that. The actual base though stays so very cool during use and overall I'm just really extremely pleased with the performance of this particular laptop. So now let's move on to some of the peripherals. So the first one I want to show you is an external drive. This is from Le C. This is their Porsche design mobile drive, two terabytes and it's USB-C. Now inside the box you do get a USB-C to standard USB cable. So you can use that if you want to. This is what the drive actually looks like. As you can see here, it says Porsche design on the front. It's got a sort of plastic enclosure with some metal as well. Uh, actually, this feels like it could be metal, but it's coated. But I've just got a feeling that because of the weight, we've got some plastic in here as well. USB-C connector on this end here, and obviously a second cable. So we're going to plug this in to the laptop and I just really want to transition across to having USB-C native devices. Uh, I think it certainly makes sense to do that. So this is now mounted onto the desktop just up here. We're going to just, for a bit of fun, we're going to run that Blackmagic uh, disk speed test again. We're not going to get any sort of uh, similar performance, but we just select the target drive and we change this to the C, and then we start the disk speed test going again. Now it's not gonna be anywhere near the performance of the internal storage inside the laptop, 
but the write speed is coming in at 119 megabytes per second, read speed 125 megabytes per second, but this is perfectly good enough for editing full HD 1080p video on an external drive. And that's the point I wanted to make. In fact, it will even handle some 4K video editing as well, which is really quite impressive. Uh, so if you want a mobile editing solution and you're looking for an external drive, then something like this would certainly be more than capable, especially for HD footage and possibly some 4K footage as well. So it's a really nice slimline drive. Let me just check this and give you another look at the actual hardware again. It is a very, very portable drive, two terabytes capacity, looks absolutely fantastic. And it's just super lightweight, very, very good build quality as well. Now let's take a look at some peripherals and I wanna show you a couple from Orkey. Now this one here is an ethernet adapter. This is what the product packaging looks like and we have got USB-C on one end and a gigabit ethernet on the other end. Now there's no ethernet port on the laptop. This is nice and portable, very well made. This is a metal enclosure with plastic caps on either end, uh, a captive cable in there as well, as you can't swap this cable out of course, but a USB-C connection and it's just sort of plug and play and you've got gigabit ethernet on your new 2016 MacBook Pro. So that's the first one I wanna show you. The other one is also from Orkey, and this is not quite as portable, so this might be more of a, a desktop solution, but this is a three port USB 3 hub and a gigabit ethernet adapter. So you've sort of got two products in one here, uh, a little bit more bulky to carry around, but still perfectly usable. So we've got three USB 3 ports on the top, uh, USB-C cable built in, and then the gigabit ethernet uh, plug or socket on the end there. So this is a great solution as well. If you want something, that it still could be portable, but on a desktop, uh, just sort of put this on your desk, maybe sort of Velcro it down so that it stays in place because it is quite light and you've got a very useful USB hub there uh, for older devices and of course, ethernet on the end. Now, the last one I want to show you, this is definitely for the desktop. This is what the uh, product packaging looks like. I've already taken a look at a USB-C dock. This is the second one I've got in. This is from OWC. I'll leave a link to all of these products down in the, the video description area. And this one is obviously gonna reside on a desk or maybe underneath a desk. And it gives you a lot of connections. So let me show you the actual product itself. And this is what the dock looks like and it's absolutely fantastic. So on the front, we've got an SD card slot. Yes, Apple removed the SD card slot on the new 2016 MacBook Pros. Well, if you've plugged into this dock, you've got an SD card uh, sort of memory slot on the front, headphones. We've also got a USB 3 connector on the front, and this also can act as a charging port. And then if we go round to the back, we've got all of the other connections on the back. So we've got three more USB 3 ports here. The one on the left here on the far side actually supports charging as well. And then we've got USB-C here. So if you've got USB-C devices like that hard drive I just showed you, that would plug in here. Gigabit Ethernet. We've got USB-C that goes to your computer. There is a cable supplied inside the box, so you can plug that straight into the new MacBook Pro. HDMI out. And then we've also got a input for the power supply that's also inside the box. So this mounted either on top of the desk or on the underside of your desk is a great solution because you've got that one cable solution. Once it's plugged into your MacBook Pro, then you've got access to all of these other ports and an HDMI external display as well. So very, very well made, nice design, matches the color as well. Look, so this is space gray as well. Now, OWC are also launching a newer version of this dock, well, not a newer version, but a different version with Thunderbolt 3. So that's gonna be very interesting because that's gonna have similar ports and connectivity, but it will support Thunderbolt 3 as well. And I'll be bringing you a review of that on the channel once it's launched. 
So overall, I'm really impressed with these latest generation MacBook Pros. Yes, there are some things missing. Yes, there are some things I'm gonna to have to get used to, but overall the performance is absolutely fantastic. Now this 15 inch version is gonna actually replace my late 2013 Mac Pro desktop. So that's gonna be interesting, integrating this into my workflow. But I think it's gonna be a pretty easy transition. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions at all about any of the accessories you've seen or indeed the MacBook Pros, please do leave them down in the comments section below. As always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video very soon.